Yo soy Catalina Morales Yáñez, eh, soy doctora en Ciencias de la Tierra y el Universo eh, de la Universidad de Estrasburgo y soy especialista en sismología. Uh, I am Catalina Morales Yáñez. Um, I am seismologist. Nowadays I am working as postdoc in, the, in one of the universities here in Chile. Um, and that, like, I, I work more in theoretical seismology, in inversion problems, and that is my focus. But time to time I like to change and research for new new aspect of seismology. Wow, it's a long path, you know. <laughs> I started to study geophysicist, uh, geophysics, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, I was like, uh, when I was in, in my school, I didn't know what to study at all. So what I did is just like, I take a newspaper from my university that I want to go, and I start to research each major. I mean, I just stopped in geophysics, and I was like, wow, what is this? because it's not something that all the people mention, not like law or medicine, I don't know. And it was like, okay, le let's see a little, a little Google. And I was like, uh, okay, they're really interesting because you use the physics to explain all the error, what is happening. And it was kind of really motivated for me. And it was like, okay, let's do this. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't care, I don't know no one in the scientific career, <laughs> but let's do this. I live in Chile. Um, Chile is one of the most uh, seismic active countries in the world. So when I started to the geophysics in, in 2009, in 2010 was a big earthquake that hit actually the city where I was studying, you know, it was an 8.8 .8 earthquake in 2010 and was kind of a big deal. I was already motivated for earth science. I was already motivated for seismologies, but that even was kind of, okay, I want to study this. Like I want to understand what was happening and, and how we can prevent things somehow from the scientific point of view. So I started to do my path in that way after I get a master's degree and after I make my PhD on seismology too in France. I really like science. Like I really like ask questions and I know that it's not one of the easiest paths, but it's one of the most challenger also. So it's kind of every time you have new challenge that you want to do, like, um, and you want to know more about the stuff that you're studying. And, you know, when, when I started this, I was like, oh yeah, I know a lot. When I was finished my career, I was kind of like, yeah, I know more or less. I finished my master, I was like, mm, I don't know so much. And when I finished my PhD, I was like, I know I don't know nothing about this. You know? So it's so many stuff that, stuff that you have to learn that is kind of like a really motivating to continue and studying. And it's really, really interesting because also all your research can affect people, you know. I think that okay, I have a really good network, like of friends and people around me. Like I had also really good teachers and uh, when it was in my in my in my career, I was kind of like, uh, I have this tutor that she saw, was always saying me like, uh, go, go and do whatever you want. Like, uh, don't let anyone to stop you and don't let anyone to like, uh, tell you what you have to do. So it was kind of really encouraged me. And in the master's degree, uh, my teacher has a lot of hope on me. <laughs> and thanks to them, I, I get my PhD, you know, like um, they sent me to France to make a little internship. And while I was in France, uh, this PhD offer was like in the table. They said me like, you know, we are going to open a PhD position. Like uh, maybe you can apply. I don't have so many good score, like grades, you know. I don't have so many stuff. Um, I don't know. And my teachers always like was like, yeah, do it, do it, do it. You can do it. And at the end, I'll apply without so many hope. And in one moment, they say me like, yeah, you know, you are in the finalist of the selection. And it was kind of what <laughs> me. Why, you know? So I think that's something that I, I, I really grateful is that there was always people like believing in me and pushing me forward. And I think that that is really, really important to have friends, family, teachers, like people surrounding you that always are going to be there for you. You always have to do what you want to, you know? And sometimes you get a little kind of down because uh, your grades are not so good or you didn't pass the, the class with a good score or, or wherever, you know, or sometimes you are in bad position, like mentally, family, etc. 
But you always have to think that this stuff are going to pass, you know, this is going to, it's not forever. Or at least all the stage that you are now are going to be part of your past in one moment and you can learn from them. So it's more like, yeah, like validate yourself, validate your aptitude, validate like uh, your, your experience. Everything of that is part of you now and all the bad moments are going to pass by. So you can do it. And if you want to do it, like uh, be a strong, like um, have good friends, that is super important. <laughs> you know, people that can, you can go there if you have any problem or issue. 